Despite its graphic content, Claire Denis' Trouble Every Day is a quiet film. There's little dialogue, and the use of music is judicious. This means that the sounds we do hear, though often at a low volume, carry more weight. During the moments when we follow Shane's perspective, the sound design helps us feel his internal struggle against his infection. The film introduces us to Shane's cannibalistic compulsions through a fantasy he experiences in an airplane bathroom. The hum of the airplane carries into that fantasy, transforming into a lower-pitched, almost musical drone. A diegetic indicator of setting becomes a symbolic leitmotif. Throughout the film, this persistent drone comes in and out of scenes featuring Shane. So what? Can we get out of here? It smells and the light. I don't like it here. No, it helps me. The hum of room tone, amplified in volume for a few seconds, then brought back down, like the spike of a tension headache. Perhaps this droning started as an unintentional artifact of a location with poor sound quality. But sound editor Christoph Windig and mixer Dominique Hennequin modulate it in a way that's subtle, but contributes to an unsettling feeling when we spend time with Shane. The drone is complemented by small foley sounds, made hyper-real when they are isolated on the soundtrack. Gallo's exhalation, and the smoosh of his fingers pressing his eyelids, surfacing his anguish. The gentle tapping of the hotel made shoes as we stare at her from Shane's point of view. And then there's Vincent Gallo's voice. I would never hurt you. Soothing and soft, almost shy. Are you frightened? A disarming contrast to the cannibalistic, sexualized violence. Many scenes appear to have EDR dialogue, enhancing the sense that we've slipped away from reality. Who are you calling? Some boss in a lab. I should have told you before we left. The time we spend with Shane is very different from the scenes featuring Court. Shane's scenes show us the inner conflict of a man fighting against monstrosity. But Cory has succumbed to her infection. She only has one line of dialogue. Cory is primarily visual and tactile, and her performances make her seem childlike, or perhaps animalistic. She is surrounded by a tapestry of diegetic sound that form a background to her actions, but don't comment on them. Shane is still fighting to retain his humanity. The sound design cues his struggle against his violent compulsions until he can't struggle anymore. I'm, sick. I'm, sick. I'm Laura Ivins. Thank you for watching.